Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Gemini. What are they not telling you? What are they hiding from you for uh, August 2022? You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're, so we're going to take a look at the person that you're currently dealing with or the person that you're thinking of. We're going to see what this person is not telling you, what they're hiding from you, and then we'll finish off the read to see uh, if this person will come clean towards you or, or if you will find out on your own uh, what they're hiding uh, from you. Uh, so apply this to your own unique situation, okay? You can switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements, okay? Uh, uh, even though this is love focus, uh, this could be with anybody. Um, also, this could be with a past person, a new person, current person. Apply this to your own unique situation. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, Gemini, let's get started. Tell me about Gemini here. The person that Gemini is dealing with or the person that Gemini has on their mind. What is this person not telling Gemini? What is this person hiding from Gemini for August 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands here. We got the Death card. Oh, seems like you might already be dealing with this person. You have some sort of relationship with this individual, but I feel like this person wants to tell you that they want to end things here. Scorpio energy here with the Death card. The King of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. And you have someone here that's definitely coming in with some sort of communication here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Knight of Swords. Uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be dealing with another Gemini here. What else do we have? We have the Moon and the Seven of Wands. Seems like this person has been holding out on you for a while here. This person has been pushing you away. And I feel like what this person wants to tell you is that this person wants to end things here with you, okay? Uh, you kind of been sensing it here, uh, sensing it too with the moon. I mean, that's intuition, okay? So uh, tell me about this eight of wands here. You know, the four of wands, the death card, and the th yeah, it seems like this person wants to end this relationship. The four of wands and the three of wands. I mean, it could be, I mean, like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. Maybe this is you wanting to end this relationship with this person. Okay, tell me about this King of Pentacles here. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? And we have the Sun, Leo energy. Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Star. Aquarius energy. Could be dealing with the Aquarius here. Seems like this person is pursuing bigger and better things. Could be a situation that over time, this person's needs have changed. Their wants have changed and they feel like you can't accommodate that. It seems like this person is pursuing bigger and better things or that this person's pursuing a higher calling for themselves. It seems like this person might be going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Tell me about the moon with the nine of cups, seven of wands here and the five of swords. I feel like this person wants to focus on themselves. I feel like this person wants to focus on their happiness here. I feel like this person right now at the moment doesn't really want to be with anybody. They want to put themselves first. I feel like this person's wanting to work on themselves. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Uh, will this person come clean towards Gemini? Will this person find out what this person's hiding from Gemini? I feel like you're going to find out. I feel like this person's going to tell you. For August 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. We have the Chariot and the Four of Swords. We have the Five of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the High Priestess. 
right? The chariot and the four of swords. Five of cups and the three of pentacles. I just feel like this person is disappointed that this didn't work out, but I feel like for them it has to end. Like, I feel like this person has to move on. You have the Page of Cups and the High Priestess. I feel like this person's going to tell you that they care about you. But I feel like this person's going to tell you that, yeah, they want to end things here. So uh, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the the High Priestess. So, you know, it, it could be a situation that, you know, you've been dealing with this person and they've been a bit distant. Yeah. So I feel like this is what this person has been thinking about. Yeah. Or what, they're, what they are feeling in their heart space, in their emotions. The uh, Chariot, Ten of Wands, the uh, Four of Swords, you know, the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag. It seems like this person's wa look, they're looking for a new beginning on their own. You know, I feel like this person wants to maybe let go of all their baggage. Maybe this person's carrying around a lot of baggage and this person's projecting it onto you. You know, I feel like this person is doing the right thing if that's the case here. Okay, I feel like this person's doing this out of love for you. Yeah. Five of Cups. I feel like they're trying to protect you too. The Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The uh, Three of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups. This is interesting. You know, with all the pages here, I feel like this person might, might send a message instead of actually sit down with you and talk. I feel like that's the right thing to do. I feel like this is going to be some sort of phone conversation. Yeah. So the Page of Cups. You know, the Knight of Wands. The High Priestess. And the Wheel of Fortune. Everything is about to change here, I feel. Because I feel like maybe you thought that things were going really, really, really well. But I feel like this person's looking for their freedom right now. This person's looking to be on their own. This person's trying to figure out what's next for them. Okay, uh, in terms of maybe their career, life, their, um, you know, their life's purpose. But I feel like this person is actually doing this out of love, doing this to protect you so that they don't hurt you, you, you know. So, um, yeah, so Gemini, I do feel like this person will tell you. I, I do feel like it's going to happen over the phone, though. It's not going to be like a sit down thing. Okay, uh, this, because I feel like this person might have been thinking about this for a very, very, very long time. And like I said, this person has been very distant. Maybe, you know, for a while you haven't really hung out with this person or that this person used to initiate a hangout, but this person hasn't done that in a long time. Okay, so uh, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.